Here's the corner. A little bit better this time. Up they go. Punched away by McGee. And a shot. And it's in. It's a goal. Paul Hardy. Paul Hardy has scored for Ballymena. Paul, the Irish Cup final. What does it mean to you? Irish Cup final day. Well, it's very, very special for me. Uh, of great memories. I was very, very lucky. I actually played in three Irish Cup finals, uh, all in the 80s, one for Carrick in 84 against Ballymena, and obviously 87 against Glen Torn for Lauren, and then obviously the penultimate one uh, against uh, Lauren for Ballymena, and it just means a hell of a hell of a lot to me. And uh, you scored quite a few goals in your time with us, 51 to be exact, but none more important than your back heel against Lauren. Would, would you agree with that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, yes, I, yeah. Obviously, it was uh, the most important one to win the cup. But I have to say, uh, the second one against Linfield in uh, the Irish Cup semi-final replay, uh, it was very important to get us to the final. You know, and it, you know, if I hadn't scored that one, well, we might not have got there, and we wouldn't have had the day out. But yes, obviously, the most important one was the one in the final to win the cup. And uh, just finally, Paul, if you had any advice for the players going out on Saturday, what would it be? It's an old cliche, and as I said earlier, uh, it took me two occasions to learn. Uh, basically, you play the match, not the occasion, you know, on the Saturday. And if there's more experienced guys in the team, you know, it's up to them to help the younger ones do it. Uh, yes, it's not a bad thing to have nerves. In fact, it would be wrong not to have nerves in an Irish Cup final. But I, I honestly believe, you know, you just go out, play your own game, win your own battle, and everyone else will look after themselves. John, what does the Irish Cup mean to you? Well, it was probably my biggest day in football. Um, it was just a great feat to get there. Um, I think we were totally unexpected to get through our semi-final after, after our replay. And uh, when we got to the final, maybe it was a bit of an anti-climax. The, the, the match on the day wasn't great, but... It was the, the preparation, the fact that I was lucky to actually get playing the game because I was carrying an injury and the, the boss gave me right to the last minute and fortunately I passed that and, and was able to make the, the, the day and it's a good job we did because we didn't qualify again so that, that really added to it. And you made 289 appearances for Ballon United, would that have been your, your standout appearance? Well, it wasn't a great game, and no, it definitely wasn't. It was that's my best memory. Yes, definitely yeah. my best memory. Um, but there was there were definitely better games, and I think I think actually our, our semi-final games were probably the best two matches I think the team ever played. And on the day, it was just basically getting there. Everybody and the whole pitch, both teams were that tense. It was don't give anything away. Uh, don't make any mistakes, just keep it tidy and hope for hope for a break, hope for a goal and that's just exactly what happened. So. And uh, being an Irish Cup winner, John, what advice would you have to the current set of players going in on Saturday? Well, definitely try and just go through your preparation as normal, try and enjoy the day as much as possible, just keep concentrating, think about what you're doing and, and don't let the occasion get to you, that's basically it. You have, to, you have to turn up with a good performance to, to get a result, that's simple as that. And uh, what was the build up like towards that, the big day, John? Well, I remember that we played Linfield at the showgrounds here the week before, and, and Alec left most of the team out. I refused to be left out because I wanted to play against Linfield. So uh, I remember we got beat 4 0 that day. But I remember I had, I had it one off the line from Big David. <coughs> so uh, but I had played in cup finals before, but I was Linfield and I didn't. I didn't want to miss it. Yeah. I didn't want to miss the Olympic game either, so I insist I was playing that day. And if you had some advice for the current squad going into the big game on Saturday, what would it, what would it be? Just go and play the game and not the occasion, as everybody always tells you. I think the fact that Crusaders are the big favourites, is, and I think that's the feeling around the town too, this is going to be a door advantage, because the club's under no pressure. Crusaders are big favourites. And, I think that can do us the world of good. Obviously over the years I'm still meeting people in the street and I come up shopping in Ballymena an odd time uh, shopping centre here and the next thing there's boys coming up, oh, Jim Scott is it, Jim Scott and they're shaking hands with you. It's like 32 years later, it's still surreal, unbelievable like that. You know, obviously the, the final might not be the greatest final but it's, again it's 
you know, unbelievable. Still, still a brilliant achievement for all the lads. And the memories we have, like as players, is, is brilliant. Like you know, absolutely brilliant. How big of a part, Jim, did the, the manager Alec McKee play in winning well, Obviously, Alec, Alec was brilliant. Alec brought all the team together like, over the years. Like he sent Big Paul, I think, from Chimney Corner at that time. We come back a few years before it and stuff. And like John Gard came from the Blues at that time, and it was brilliant. Him and Shay and Joyce Shabuff, and I think the backroom staff had a trend, tremendous amount of. You know, we had a lot, a lot of respect for the whole backroom staff at that time. Like, and unfortunately, if you see the wee photo we have there now, I think they're all gone. Like Willie Cully, Billy McCready, and like as I say, Shay. Alec and you know jo Josh uh, above and sorry and like it's, it's sad but then as we as we, as man says we're not getting any younger life moves on you know what for what is not set you know so just as I say I hope on Saturday these lads can take take the mantle on now because I think we've had it long enough you know and I think the town needs it. John the Irish Cup final on Saturday and you know a thing or two about it winning an Irish Cup. Yes, well it was uh, it was the highlight of my career. I'd left Porta Down and the next year then I played in an Irish Cup final and uh, it, was, it was the biggest game I had ever played in but uh, I loved it in Ballymena, I loved playing for Ballymena and it was, I can say we weren't maybe the best individual players at that time but we were a team. The boss Alec McKee had us gelled together. We were a jail team and we worked for each other, you know, everybody worked, were committed. And maybe the lads on Saturday, you know, you can't want nothing if, if there's 11 players not on the field, you know, pulling for each other. So, yes. that's it. but it was, it was a big occasion, like, <coughs> where I'm from, there never have been an Irish Cup medal ever went back to Draperstown, you know, mm -hmm. but now it'll be... It'll always be there. Would you have any advice then for uh, the team on Saturday? Well, from the first whistle, work hard. You know, you can't carry nobody in a cup, cup final. There can be no carriers, you know. So, But David will have them well drilled, you know. In, 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 they'll all know their job, individual. As I say, uh, it, 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 it's going to be a tough game, but... You see the Irish Cup final, a big day in the football calendar. What does it mean to you? Obviously, uh, we won we won it a long, long time ago, so um, it means everything for the whole crowd of boys that are here, like uh, that have come for it tonight. But I think the Irish Cup for Balmy is a big thing. Always has been a big thing, and always will be, I think. And just winning the Irish Cup, what was it? What's your memories of that? <laughs> long time ago, uh, oh, it was a great day. The match was. Awful, but it didn't really matter. That's all about winning it. So we won it, and yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, Big Alec, you know, Big Alec was there. Big Alec, had, I was up for it. Maybe didn't play the best, but we got the right result. And what advice would you have for the lads going out there on Saturday? No, oh, I don't know. Listen, if, they work hard. If, if I've seen them play, they work very, very hard. And if they work hard, they will always create chances. And if they can take their chances, they'll bring it home. Here comes the corner, it was a high one, Vinci McGee got his fist to it, but the ball not cleared, John McKee tried a shot, and Paul Hardy with a cheeky little back heel from a couple of yards out, puts Bellamine in the lead, their last chance perhaps, if they can get this ball forward, Ricky Simpson has it, and there goes the final whistle. And the Bellamina players are delighted, and no wonder they have won the Irish Cup for 1989. Their supporters delighted with the team's performance. Just one goal separating the sides. It came in the 24th minute of the second half, and Paul Hardy was the man who got it. The number 10, the close watch was kept on him right through the match, but he was there with a cheeky little back heel.